Hello everyone, welcome to 3designacademy.com. In this lesson, we will continue with part nine of constructing the car project. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we established some of the lines and some of the surfaces for the body side. I think I'm gonna continue on with that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I think I'm actually going to work on the lower part a little bit. And that's because right now the lowers are connected to the wheel flat. And I think that's gonna establish a lot of the lines that we need. So let's start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to uh, work on the rocker. So I'm gonna to try to work on this part. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna just going to go to the side view. And right now the lines are already established in the, uh, in the orthographic drawing. So I'm gonna to try to connect, first of all, connect this line to here like this and the reason why i'm doing that is because if you see in the image right here uh, you'll see that this line is going all the way from the front to the end so i think this is one of the critical most critical lines that, that we can use to establish the shape of the body side and also the rocker okay so i'm just create the curve and i don't know if it'll have any crown but it looks like it might but because right now the body side has a little bit of crown here so i'm going to give it a little bit of crown like this just to sort of have a more similar feeling between all the parts okay after that i'm going to flatten now but we'll see how that goes Okay, so after that, I'm gonna to try to establish this shape right here. Uh, actually, let me create the surface first. So I'm gonna, because right now with this surface is a little bit tucked in, so I'm gonna to try to do that. So I'm just gonna to go to the front view like this. I don't think it's display, uh, displayed in any of the, any of the canvas, uh, canvas images. No, it probably doesn't. So I'll have to sort of estimate um, how much it needs to go in based on the shape, uh, based on the uh, photographic references that we have. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, snap the curve here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of angle like this. And I'm gonna add a little bit of crown, not too much, just because um, this Audi, the, this, uh, I think this car mostly uh, has a more, I guess, a flat design language. So I'm gonna try to minimize the amount of crown that I give to each surface. So it's just gonna be a little bit minimal. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect the two curves with rail, make a surface there. It looks like it needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna say extend this. Okay, so I think that's good. And I'm just gonna trim it with this line over here. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna have to check out a few more things to make sure that that's the trim line that I wanna use. Um, so let me just go do some other features first. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to establish this feature. Let me just zoom in. So I'm just gonna establish this feature right here. So I think I'm just gonna, okay, I don't know if I, well, yeah, I have a line to reference this. Okay, so same thing. I'm just gonna copy and paste this curve right here and I'm, doing, I'm going to drag it over the wheel flat like this. Now this is a little bit long. The reason why I'm copy pasting it uh, because right now it has a very, uh, if I copy and paste this, it's got the same gesture as the, uh, between the, it's got the same gesture. So the curves have, if the curves have the different, uh, same gesture, then it's a lot easier to work with that in the resultant surface will be a lot more harmonious. So I'm just gonna copy and paste like this and just drag it over to the other side and I'm just gonna fit it to the scan, uh, not the scan, but the image like this. Move it up a little, just a little bit. And right now, if you see this, 
there's a triangle, uh, sort of a triangular shape that, that's attached to the main rocker. So I'm going to try to do that. So in order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a project to the surface and I'm going to use the stretch tool and just snap it like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is right now this surface is actually this, uh, there's no wheel flat right here, as you can see in the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop this wheel flat down. Okay, so from the side view, I'm just going to, well, actually, I need the curve first. So let me just do this. So I'm going to use a rail. So one and one, and I'm just going to do this. And right now, it's uh, the surface is way too big. So I'm going to do a curve segment, and I'm just going to bring it over here like this. And the bottom, I'm going to bring it up like this. And we have a nice uh, triangular shape that's established between the two surfaces. Now the angle might need adjustments, but I think I'm pretty happy with what we have right now. So um, because right now it's a six degree, I might need to change the degree, reduce it a little bit. So I'm gonna say maybe three. Oh, it well, looks like that's good. And this one only needs to be two, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to say delete construction history and I'm going to go to project right here and I'm just going to trim this piece away. I'm going to say trim. It looks like it's nicely established. Now there's a little bit of gap between uh, the rocker panel and the wheel flat. I might need to align it. Well, we'll have to see. Okay. So that looks pretty good in the front. However, it looks like we have a piece below that. I know it's really dark and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see this in the orthographic drawing. And let's see if I can find some other images. Uh, I don't know if there are any other pictures that I can show that really shows this. Okay, maybe you can see it a little bit better on the rear side. You'll see that there's a little bit of surface right here. So I'm gonna to try to make that too. Okay, so I don't have a reference image, so I'm just going to let's see. So I want to follow the shape of the wheel flat as much as possible. So I'm just going to say duplicate like this, and I'm going to do an extend. And I'm gonna do an extend with the merge off like this. And I'm just going to, oops, extend this piece right here. Oh, I think I'm kind of extended wrong on the other side, but that's okay. So I'm just going to delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stretch tool to just bring this inboard like this. Now, I don't really have a good reference for how much the angle should be. So I'm just going to create the surface and see how it goes. Okay. And I'm just going to do a rail like this, one and one. Okay, that looks pretty good. However, I think uh, how it merges a little bit different. So I think I may need to establish another curve for this. So if you see right here, I don't think it's doing that. I think it's more of a straight uh, transition. Uh, let me see if I can find another picture that has, uh, yeah. So if you see this image right here, and if I zoom in a little bit, You'll see that the transition is not doing a uh, sort of a diagonal shape. I think it's more of a flat. So I think I'm gonna, okay, so this gives you some indication of the angle. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a little bit more flat. Uh, so it's gonna be twisting from a little very horizontal to a little more vertical shape. Okay, so I think this angle is pretty good for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to do a project like this. And I'm going to copy and paste this curve over here. And I'm going to use the stretch tool to just snap it like that. And what I'm going to do is instead of using a rail, I'm going to use a square. So one, two, three and four like that. Now there's a, and that's, uh, and by doing that, we are able to have a twisting surface that has a little bit of undercurrent right here, but uh, nicely merges into this surface right there. 
Okay, so right now this has a span, so I'm going to try to rebuild one, didn't do anything, so three, and we are able to get a single span surface. That's good. Okay, and let's see. I think that's pretty good over there. Uh, and let's try to go to the rear. Now, uh, the rear from this image, it looks like there's a little bit of more, I guess, uh, shape or undercut. But uh, maybe, let's see. Let's see what else we can do. Just put this over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do try to do the same thing over here. So from the side view, I'm just gonna establish a curve. I'm just gonna duplicate this curve right here, and I'm going to use extend to scrap the curve and snap it here. Oh, actually, I think I probably need to snap it here. Uh, let's see. Oops. Good. And because of this surface, on the other hand, goes all the way through here, I'm going to have to establish, I'm going to have to extend this curve all the way to here and just cut the wheel flat from here to here. Okay, so I'm just going to create a curve from here to here like this, and I'm just going to trim the wheel flat like that, and trim. Now let's establish the bottom surface first. Okay, so I think it needs a little bit angled. Uh, I think it's tucking a little bit. If you see this image right here, I think this uh, this line up to at least here, I think it's following nicely. I think it's tucking a little bit over here. So I think, uh, first of all, let's extend this curve down. And I'm actually going to do a copy and paste and I'm gonna, well, actually let's do this. Instead of doing a copy and paste, I think I'm gonna use the fit curve. So I'm just gonna uh, do a fit curve in order to reduce the number of spans and, or number of degrees so that I can make this a little bit simpler. So with the, even with the degree three, I was able to match it very closely. And I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think it's curvature continuous from here to here, but I think there's a little bit more tuck in towards the bottom. So I'm going to, first of all, delete the construction history and I'm going to grab the CV like this on the DB3. And I'll just do a little bit of tuck like this to get a little bit more curvature. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to use, uh, try to establish a triangular shape at the transition surface over here. So I'm going to snap a curve. Now this one is kind of, uh, it's a stacked one on top on either side. I'm just gonna say invisible for now. Go to side view. And I'm just gonna snap it here. And I'm gonna snap, uh, put it somewhere here. And same thing that I did on the front, I'm just gonna project on the body side. Use a stretch tool to make a line like this. And I'm just going to do a rail one and one like this. Now I'm just going to pull it up like this right, right now, but because uh, we are using a two degree, uh, three, two, yep, that looks good. And that automatically creates a triangular shape from here to here. I think it matches well with the image. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we need to create this uh, surface that, that tucks in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this curve like this. 
I'm going to do an extend to make it shorter. And I'm just going to use the stretch tool to give it a little bit of angle. And let's see how long it is supposed to be. So it looks like it's not supposed to be long. So I'm just going to reduce the length like this. And again, I'm going to create a curve like this, project. And I'm also going to copy and paste this curve right here. And I'm just going to snap it. Let me just, uh, this one I don't really need anymore, so I'm just going to leave that. And I'm going to use a stretch tool to just snap it right there. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to use the square tool again to establish this shape here. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Three and three. Okay. Right now the rocker, uh, our rocker is a little bit long. Um, so what I'm going to do is, and now that I've established some of the surfaces here, I think I'll trim trim it away. So I'm just going to connect the dot from here to here, and just project using a curve. And I'll say. Now, before I trim, I think I need a little bit more curved surfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to intersect these two, one here and one there. And I'm going to say trim. And we have our rocker. OK. So I think uh, we can stop it here for now. And we'll continue on in the next lesson. OK, so that's it for part nine. We'll continue in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.